Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Fred Torn. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Stranded, Ellie and Dawn on the PlayStation 5. So we're almost a full week into our attempt to survive here on an alien planet. So far, everybody's still alive. Uh, in between episodes, I did change up our activity priorities a little bit. You guys see what that looks like. Just kind of, uh, you know, adjusted a few things. Well, there's several things we need to do here right at the start. So we did not get a drying rack, which we should have, so we could have been drying this meat that we have. We have a lot of meat. And so dried meat lasts longer. And then also we can turn those hides into leather. Oh, nice. So there's two options, a small drying rack and a large one. Large one has its own cover. And so we should probably get that one. You know how I feel about leather pants. Mm-hmm. I know. I love them. All right, so we're just going to put this... I want to keep it out of this area because this is where we're going to build once we get that research done. So just probably over here somewhere. Yeah, I'll put it right there. And so we'll get that constructed. Uh, a few other things we could work on. So in the storage, I want to say that the... These here can't store, yeah, they can't store construction resources. And this might be something that can, but there's not much space here. And so we should probably put some more of these and just set them outside somewhere, because the construction resources, you don't really have to worry too much about those being outside, I think. So we'll put those, yeah, we'll put those in a stockpile. There's also the storage chest, we didn't build any of those. Uh, those can't fit construction resources either. But somebody noted in the comments that they have their own top. So that seemed useful. Yeah, let's go and just place a couple of these right here. Just throw the stuff on the floor. It'll be fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a couple stockpiles. I guess we could have put it in the back over here instead. Oh, well. They can still do it. And then just get rid of these ones. I guess it does look nicer on the back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just going to cancel that. And then, yeah, we'll have these set up. For the uh, the resources, the construction resources. We'll make sure that we specify for that. Connor's worried about our safety. Yeah. I, I can see why. We don't have very many weapons and we don't have any uh, any walls or anything yet. From his uh, you know viewpoint, this is not a good defensive situation. And something's been killing all the critters. Yeah. I was looking at that. There are all kinds of dead critters over here. Here's one. I think they're killing each other, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, there's a, an ecosystem. Here's oh another God. one. They're not eating it, though. It's killing for fun. These ones are sleeping. I bet that's the ones that's doing it, the dodo birds. Well, they are eating it, though. Because look at the... I, I want to say that there's not as much. Yeah, oh, see? it's got chomps. Yeah, look at the uh, the raw meat is 24 or 50. So they are eating it. They're just not eating the whole thing. They're like, I'm stuffed. Mm -hmm. I'll go kill someone else. So this is something that somebody pointed out in the comments. Do appreciate all your guys' assistance. You know, this game was out on early access, I think since October, on PC. So there's there's all, all those people who have had the PC version and been playing it for months now. And so know uh, the game a bit better, and we appreciate your guys' assistance and tips. So one of the things that was, that was mentioned is that if you click on these when you get them, then it pops up and it gives you some information that isn't on the, you know, it's not the type of info you can find any other way unless you click on this. So this is the, uh, the ripe buttermelons. I love that. Buttermelon. <laughs> <laughs> sounds tasty. It does sound good. Yeah, it sounds really good. But they can be harvested and cooked. It might have some other good uses too. Okay. I mean, they oh, look tasty. it's like a pumpkin and a melon? Yeah. That mm -hmm. sounds delicious. I mean, yeah, these look delicious. So definitely something we're going to want to plant eventually. Now. <laughs> well, I feel like we should we should really focus on getting this research done. Yeah, I mean, nobody's plenty of buttermelons. Yeah, nobody's researching right now. And the same people, well, I guess Laura is the one who does the planting. Let's get the, the building set up here, guys. Ember's going to research. Is that what she's going to do? Yeah. Okay, so we've got her doing that because she's actually highly intelligent. 
I think she's the most intelligent person in the crew, actually. Really? Yeah, she's got intelligence of four. She's smarter than me. I want to say your character's dumb, Jinx. Yeah, I sleep on my belly. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I learned is that you can use L3, clicking on it, to switch between your characters. Super useful, guys. I was trying to figure out how to do that, but I didn't know if they had a hotkey for it. So one of the things I learned when I was looking around is that Connor and Laura seem to have had a fight. Oh. So Laura's been intimidated, and she was angered by they Connor. They were so friendly. Yep, and so now they don't like each other as much. See, was angered by Laura. So they got into a fight. What did they fight about? I don't know. I wish we were there so we'd know. I bet I know Maybe what it was. Connor eating all the food. It was something stupid. <laughs> Probably, because <laughs> we fight about... The only thing we ever fight about is the stupid things. So how do you move the meat over to this? I'm not seeing any options for that because this is to move the structure it's not the retrieve maybe they'll just do that on their own maybe let's hope they do because yeah i want to dry meat and also the the hides i'd like to get that as well so he's already going to retrieve stuff so Can let's you make sure on the resource maybe so i believe we have our raw meat Oops. in here no. Mm -hmm. Can't do it through here. So maybe they'll just do it. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, so once he's done with that, there we go. Now we can go and set this whole thing up. And what we want it to be able to carry is just construction materials. Because all those other things can go in other places. However, it looks like you only have... Okay, so you only have five things. One in each one. That's well, strange because there's six. Okay. Maybe five in each one? Maybe. Although it looked like it said 24 spaces. Yeah. Maybe it's five different types in here. Whoops. My bad. Oh, yeah. I think it's five different types of things that can go in there. Yeah, the construction materials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, is he doing it? I think so. Look at you go, there Connor. There you go. All right. Awesome job, Connor. Laura's just sitting around. Oh, she's going to sleep. She's tired, okay? Farming is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Has she been farming over here? Yeah, I'm sure. Look well, the crops are growing. Plants. So we'll have crops. That's good. I wish we'd get this thing researched here. <laughs> <laughs> the construction basics. I increased the priority for that. For Quinn. He's not doing it. He just doesn't want to be around. Uh oh Oh, jeez. Yep. 17? That's not good. It's probably those bug things. Oh, my God. Oops. They're eating all the crops. They're not that far away. Yeah, we are not prepared for this. Is it like something that happens like a weekend or something? Seven days to die. Yeah, are they eating all these crops? Oh, they are. They're going to come after our corn. We don't have any walls. Okay, we should probably get them taken out as soon as... Is Connor awake yet? Wake them all up. He's not even sleeping right now. Where is he? He's over here. Jesus, Connor. I'm going to transport more stuff. I feel like we should get... Well, we, need, we should have both him and Ember do this. Yeah. They're getting closer, though. They've got the They're guns. going after... Oh, never mind. Those are just butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? Oh, okay. Here they're, they're still out there eating plants. Eating all the damn crops up. I mean, I guess it's fine as long as they stay out there. Oops, I didn't realize this is still paused. It's not fine, Jinx. What we'll do is we'll get to daytime, and then once they're both awake... It looks like they're both awake right now, actually. We're going to want to go ahead and draft. I mean, he's currently transporting... So we should probably wait till he's and done. Ember's off observing. She's like miles away. She's over here absorbing, absorbing, observing. <laughs> excuse me. She's absorbing them, <laughs> soaking them in. She's an alien things. species. We'll find out what these pointy red plants are for. Can you use them to kill beetles? I'm just worried about those beetles coming over here and eating our crops. Yeah. So when are these done, does it say? 
Let's just see here. I don't know how all the pharma works in the game. It says it grows quickly though. Is that the 22% there? Yeah, maybe that, that is. Yeah, that's the average growth. So yeah, that, that probably is what that is. I wasn't sure. That sounds about right though. Yeah, so 22% warriors through. need to get their asses over here. Beetles are gonna bite my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's almost done with that, so I feel like we should let her finish that. But yeah, the beetles are getting closer. Oh, they're taking a nap. Yeah, they do eat them all. The beetles got sleep too, Jinx. I was hoping the wormy guys would fight them. Nah, they're quite passive. Okay, so we got that done. That's kind of what I was waiting for. So it seems we can get silicone from this. That seems really useful. So we'll have to harvest some of those. You know how I feel about silicone pants. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Ember wants to go eat first. We should probably let her. No. Where is Connor? What's he doing? He's still transporting materials. Rally the dodo birds to our cause. <laughs> <laughs> At least those aren't aggressive. I wanted to wait until the daytime. Oh, oh they're, they're coming. coming. Okay, so... Do no we more. even have spears for everyone? Mm, no. Two of our people are unarmed. Completely unarmed. Oh, jeez. Alright, so let's Is go ahead and draft. Is there one weapon that's not equipped to anybody? Up there in the top? We've got both of our survivors. Yeah, looks like there's something not equipped. Uh, A one spear. of those spears. Uh, we should have Ember get that spear. Because she does not have a melee weapon. She only has the gun. I've got the wrong person selected. So let's get her the spear. I believe that she should end up doing that. Let's go get the spear. And then we need to have them attack the beetles who are clearly coming after us. All right, so let's get her drafted and get them attacking. That's not how you do it, triangle. So let's hope this goes all right. I don't know, man. That's yeah, a lot of got beetles. Two people who are unarmed and still and Why is she sleeping? going so far? Just you shoot them. Because you told her to go there. No, oh, I was trying to click on the beetles. <laughs> Kill them. Oh, God. She's surrounded by beetles. Where Connor, is Connor? Oh, he's, he's way over here. Transporting. He's running. Luckily, she's our they medic, don't too. She seem to do a whole lot of damage. She's going to kill them all. <laughs> go, she's Amber. A beast. Yeah, she is. Well, Connor's still. Beast mode. Where is Connor? Oh, he's shooting from way over there, I think. Or oh, maybe he's, he's not. He's a sniper. You know what? He's not. <laughs> he's scared. Is this the only one? No, I think what happened is that the one I told him to kill was already oh, dead. Died. Oh, damn it. He's like, you know how I feel about beetles. <laughs> he's got a phobia unlocked here. Get this one. But yeah, well, she killed. He's a good shot. Yeah, he's a great shot. Yeah, he's just murking them. I mean, he should be. He's got a robot eye. Yeah, he's got a robot eye. So we killed them all, guys. It was not pretty. That's fine. But we got it done. Go take a nap, Ember. All right, so let's go ahead and eat some dirt. Undraft. Undraft him. And then she needs to be the one to be treated, right? Yeah. Can she treat herself by telling her to wait to be treated? I'm not entirely sure how that works. Yeah, I don't know that she can treat herself. I thought they could treat themselves. Treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure. So she automatically went to awaiting treatment. Who's I guess somebody her else can treat help. her. But I don't think I set anybody else to be able to do treating. Look at them just getting up to eat. Like, oh. Hey, what's going on, guys? What happened? I heard a ruckus when I was trying to sleep. <laughs> Let's observe these. See what we get from them. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be treated. Is she bleeding out? Yeah. Oh, do we have bandages? No. We have bandages. Oh, do we? The problem is nobody else is set to do uh, medical stuff. I think she's the only one. So let's see here. Well, Where's... Connor is set to it. But it's probably not. Here we go. It's at the beginning. But it's not prioritized. Well, I can do it. I'll just chew up some stuff and rub it on there. 
So let's actually <laughs> in a movie one. change this to one so that he'll treat her first, like as soon as he's done eating. Oh, he is on it. He's ready to save her life. Like, I got you, battle buddy. So he'll treat her. And then we'll change his setting up. Because I'd like her to do the treating whenever possible. We'd like to get her skill increased because she's our main medic. I mean, she's going to die. I think he's got it. He's treating her. But he's got to treat all of her injuries, which I guess we haven't looked at the injuries yet. So let's go ahead and show that. Her legs are injured, which makes sense. They're beetles and they're tiny. She's got bitten off flesh. She's bleeding 10 per hour. Moderate pain. Oh, jeez. Lost a lot of her movement here because these are all leg bites. But yeah, each one of these has to be treated. The superficial bites don't, but the bitten off flesh, all of those have to be treated. So like each one, I think, flesh? I think each one requires a bandage as well. Did she lose any toes? She she's pretty badly injured. It looks like. Yeah, she just fought off seventeen critters by herself. It took Connor far too long to get over there. Mm -hmm. He's going to beat himself up. Laura it, pretended not to hear Connor's concerns. <laughs> <laughs> this is a highly wow. accurate relationship here. He's like, okay. Just let him wear himself out. <laughs> <laughs> he's concerned for Ember. Oh, now he's got oh, a migraine. And there's he didn't treat it well because he's not great at this. I wonder... She's still bleeding now. I feel like they got to be able to treat themselves, right? Yeah, she's... This is not great. I don't think we have any medicine either. There's got to be a way to make medicine. Oh, she's infected. Yeah. He's not doing a good job of treating her. He's got a, a skill of two. Like, she's the medic. Guess we so, should have brought a doctor. <laughs> well, she's fine. Her skill is mm -hmm. four. But what doesn't make sense is to have one of your soldiers be the medic. Because if they're the ones that get injured, well then, well... This happens. So he's crafting currently. Nobody's researching. But I guess we just have that... Those spears left to be crafted, which you can see we need them. Because we're already being attacked here. So probably wouldn't be bad to get those. Laura could have helped out. Doesn't Quinn not fight, though? Yeah, I, I think he's indifferent towards it. I don't think Which he's... means... Which somebody told me in the comments is when they're indifferent, they're highly unlikely to... To help. Oh, I see. Like, unless you force them. And then if you do force them, they get all upset. So now she's ill. She's not going to make it. Yeah, I feel like we're going to lose Ember here. We're going to have to amputate her legs. <laughs> this is not This is not good, guys. Ember, we're going to turn you into a tater. Can we? A tater? Yeah, a tater. Connor's now healing three. You should do better now. He's going to be the new medic. He's like, like I'm a professional. Laser. We, we can make the bandages. Rub some animal fat on there and grease her up real good. Uh, so we don't want to make these out of synthetic textiles, I don't think. No. I don't think so either. Yeah, make those out of the cloth. And then make, I don't know. Oh, God. Connor's having a meltdown. Quinn is ravishly hungry. Do we have any more of the meat meals? We don't. Oh, no, we do. Why is he hungry? We have meat. He's just really into his work right now. He does anything and everything he can to avo avoid human interaction. You know what? We have the med kits. I want to say the med kits basically do everything. I think they can also heal you if you're sick. The the first aid kits. Mm -hmm. So I think we're okay. But he should have been using bandages for her wounds. But we didn't have bandages. Because I didn't think we needed them. Obviously, I was wrong. <laughs> we do need bandages. All right, so this has been a, a rough day here, but here's those beetles. So these are the bugs. Let's see if there's anything we need to know here. They swarm. They do some damage. They swarm. They swarm in a large group, and so should not be underestimated. How do you scroll down? Oh, here we go. So basically, we can make a statue of them. Oh, that's nice. So Connor has leveled up, as we, we saw. So let's go and dismiss that. So six survivors require a bed in which to lie down and be treated by another survivor. 
You can order a survivor to heal themselves through a direct order. Select the survivor and use triangle over them to open the direct orders menu. Oh, okay, oh, so we can do those direct okay. orders. Okay. So she could have treated she could have treated herself. Well, she needs to start like shoe con her away. Okay, so let's cuz yeah, she would do better at this. So what if we like Hmm. I guess just tell Connor to stop. Go back in the. Oops. <laughs> that's the uh, expeditions. Uh, that's what those balloons are for. I'm trying to go to activities here. So, what if we, like, told Connor to, like, stop? I don't know. Once he started, he might not. <laughs> okay. Did he finish or did he oh, just she stop? She said she's healing herself. Okay, there we go. She's like, oh my god, you're terrible at this. So she'll heal herself. I wonder why she didn't start with that initially. That's not her priority. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's just too wounded. Oh, okay. She's got the morphine. Mm -hmm. An EpiPen or something. Oh, she's, she's, she's just, really dosing it up. Yeah, she's just stabbing herself over and over again. Okay, huh? um, you need to alternate injection sites, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> What about your other leg? It's going to fall off. What about your bites and stuff? <laughs> and deal with those? We are okay. not going to have any medication <laughs> left. Ember's over here getting high. All right, let's not worry about it too much. <laughs> Risk of meltdown from Ember. She had a bad day. She has had a bad day. Crushingly unhappy. <laughs> Could develop a meltdown in any moment. Her dirty clothes are giving her penalty. Oh, a bird so a cute just pain. swooped in. <laughs> or a pterodactyl. <laughs> wow. I thought it that was going to snatch huge. up one of our survivors. So I wonder if you get anything good out of these. Just the raw insect meat? Yeah, because we don't want that. That's gross. Yeah, I don't even really want to butcher this. That's you. It looks like it's slowly going away, though. Yeah. So we'll just leave it out there. But yeah, we can't move along until somebody starts researching here. The problem is that they're uh, they're doing all this transporting now because we got this set up back here. And so everybody's transporting at the moment. Moving stuff around. And I feel I like... Mean, she's not dying. And she was just delighted by Quinn. So they're Aww, talking to each other. because Quinn was sharing memories. Mm -hmm. Shared memories from the voyage. He's like, you remember cheeseburgers back on the <laughs> ship? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go eat some fucking slaw. She needs to eat. Look at how slow she's moving. Let's make sure we got plenty of slot, by the way. Yeah, we still got some. Like, mmm. This will get your spirits up. <laughs> Unidentified meat. <laughs> All right. I think she's going to make it, though. I think so. Like, this will help her avoid the breakdown as well, the meltdown. And, I mean, Connor didn't do a great job, but at least he leveled up some. So did all our meat go bad? It looks like all the meat went bad. I think they're moving it over to the dryer, actually. Oh, yeah. Yep, they're probably moving all over here. Here we go. Or they're at least moving the leather. The hides. The hides. Which will become leathers. Okay, so, yeah, I'd prefer to have it turned into dry meat anyways. So yeah, we'll let that dry out, and that's oh, what they'll eat. Oh, 5% chance of poisoning. What? Where is it at? That? On the, the raw... Oh, that's if you eat the uh, raw, the red raw meat. meat. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. well, that's not bad. Connor's at risk of melting down as well. So, uh, episode two. Disastrous. We We're got attacked. still in it. We got attacked by beetles, and then everything has just gone horrible. We need a tiny fence. <laughs> we clearly need to help them relax. I was waiting till we got this this here. That's true. We can build the fence. I don't feel so good about this guy getting all close either. I mean, he might be eating these beetles though, isn't he? Is he eating them? He seems like he is. I don't know. He says eating he something? seems peaceful. Well, he wasn't eating the beetles because that's how much all the rest of them have on him. Oh. Well, he was doing the gullet thingy. Okay, so Laura's researching. She's the worst at it, so that's unfortunate. I'm but... doing my best. <laughs> Jinx wants to be a scientist, so. I love science. We need to get her intelligence up. 
So yeah, they gave us a, a little bit of time too, but it was just a bad time for those Beatles to come. Everybody's sleeping and stuff. Wine to Quinn. That, <laughs> damn, that thing's loud. About remaining stranded forever. I feel like that pterodactyl is like harassing us right it now. It is. It's asserting its dominance. Yeah. So we're now a week in. And it's, uh, it's getting rougher, guys. Oh, gosh. They're Our problem is that nobody has any way to relax. I was, again, waiting, but you know what? We're going to have to give these people some leisure. Like, even just a statue to look at or something. Maybe put the dartboard on, like, the back here yeah, so they can play darts. Nice. Connor loves darts. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. Give them something to do here, guys, because... Go, Connor. Go make that. I know you're excited. He's Look like, at him oh, in holding man. his back. <laughs> oh, my back is killing me. It's like, this is going to be so much fun. He's taking a walk instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, that pterodactyl is going to be a problem. We need some chicken wings. Well, he's having a pleasant walk, so that's important. That's good. Quinn's going to go construct the dartboard. I guess he's our construction guy. It makes sense. I was like, where is he going? So we might want to cook some more of that meat before it all dry. Well, I mean, it's it's fine if it dries, but I'm just worried about our current meat meat soup levels. I don't know how long it's gonna take for all this to dry. So let's go ahead and have give them the objective to to, to make some more. Though they might not be able to take the meat off the rack. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Yeah, me either. Cause like if they take it all to dry. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Quinn's playing darts, so he's probably getting a hell of an entertainment wow, he's from here. Like so close. <laughs> was that where he was throwing yeah. from? I was thinking he was collecting them. Every the, the dartboard's a big hit, but yeah, this is not how you play darts at all. <laughs> Maybe they just aren't good. They got to practice. Yeah, a lot. they're level one. It seems like lore is a problem. Excuse me. <laughs> Quinn is, was also angry about lore, Jinx. Well, she does seem a little whiny. Whoa. We got some idle people. What do you mean you're idle? You got all this stuff to do. Maybe we don't have all this stuff to do. Yeah, I guess we haven't given them, like, tasks for the day. Well, because I'm trying to get this research done, so I wanted to make sure I didn't give them too many, uh, too many tasks. We got, and somebody's already doing uh, construction as well. Connor's doing that. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what we can have them do then. Did they move all the stuff that needed to be moved? Connor probably took care of that, huh? Yeah, it looks like all the stuff has been moved. All right, excellent. So that's been taken care of. Let's take a look at our resources and see what exactly we need. We got we need sticks. More sticks. Got wood. Uh, we got plenty of cloth here. Liquid fuel. We do need more meats, but Connor would have to do that. I imagine if I assign him to that, he might stop with the crafting. We could look to see if there's anything to be identified as well. And then we have the spears that we want to get equipped. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with equipping those spears. Where are those at? Here we go. Everyone gets a spear. Yeah, everybody gets a spear. So they can at least defend themselves in the camp when need be. So give them those spears, and then I want to see if there's anything that isn't flying that needs to be identified still. Where's that tiny lizard? Is that the thing that's flying? Does the lizard fly? It seemed like it did. I'm not seeing any critters we haven't identified yet. Have we identified this guy? We have. The glitch. More critters through here, a whole family of them. You leave that family alone. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, mushroom things, where are those at? There's some somewhere over here. I've seen them. What's the stuff that's down in that little ravine next to us? Hold up. I don't know, I guess we can look at that. But yeah, I was thinking we could get... Somewhere over here, there's some mushrooms to be identified. I've seen them. Is it way over here? It's way over here. Is that closer, or is this closer? Probably this. I oh, guess these I aren't even the same thing. I think that's what's growing in that ravine that I was talking about. Oh, okay. 
the can, can they go down there? I think so. I guess we can tell them to observe it there. Like, go take a peek. But yeah, somebody needs to observe these mushrooms as well. Kind of far away, but... They look like they have hallucinogenic properties. <laughs> I want to say those were in the tutorial. I will observe. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do the tube plant, Jinx. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to make a penis joke. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you'll be down here. It looks like we got a thunderstorm coming. During this disaster, lightning strikes can damage structures and devices, electrocute survivors and animals or kill plants. Any lightning strike that hits a stockpile or storage device causes significant decay to all resources stored inside. You can research and build lightning rods to protect the camp. Walking in the rain is unpleasant, but sleeping soaking wet is outright horrible. Survivors out in the open will have decreased happiness. On the other hand, rain is great for the plants and boosts their growth. Well, okay. So. Oh, no. <laughs> everybody's about to get absolutely miserable. Soaking wet. Wow, they're really throwing it at us today. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So, yeah, everybody's going to be irritated. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Out of everything that could have got hit, you didn't hit this metal here that was... <laughs> It had to hit Connor. Wow. Or did he faint because he got scared? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at his injuries here. Oh, my God. Well, it probably Pain hit severe. him because he's a robot. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yep, whole body lightning strike. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. This game is not nice. She chilling. likes Connor's opinion on bladed weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe go help Connor. Do I have to tell her specifically to go do it? Wow. Uh, so carry well, Connor bleeding. to he's safety. Fine. Oh wow, she's so strong. Oh gosh. And damage large wooden drying rack. Why is it damaging our stuff? Uh, she's eating. Doesn't she need to like treat him or something? There's not enough food. Did they eat all the food? Did it all decay? There's only a little bit of food. Because I put it all in here. So basically, we need to go hunting again. Laura reached intellect too. <laughs> I are smart. I thought that was Laura. <laughs> That's her natural I form. I feel like we're going to have to eat bugs. Yeah, well, we better hurry because it's going bad. Oh, yeah. there's the lizard. There's the lizard. Okay, so let's uh, actually set it up to butcher. They're not going to be happy about eating bugs, though, are they? There's, like, nothing nearby, though, and Connor's the hunter. I guess Ember can hunt, too. Yeah, there's not really any. I mean, can we eat these? Aren't these, like, bugs, yeah. too? Those well, are they bugs, too. You too. Yeah, they're dangerous. Yeah, we're just going to have to harvest this. <laughs> It's gonna be, it's gonna be great, guys. So yeah, everything is a disaster. It's fine. It's typical survival stuff, you know? People are gonna die in the first two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Connor's awake, he's eating. All right, he's all right. He's fine. He's got struck by lightning, it's fine. Yeah, just walk it off. Don't get struck again, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, Quinn's this is... repairing the rack. He's doing that on his own. That's good. But doesn't some of the stuff get destroyed, though? All the meat was destroyed. Oh, wow. That's nice. Yeah, we have no meat on the rack Well, the now. storm stopped. We have no meat on the rack, though. <laughs> so basically, we have no food. They're crafting and researching currently. Nobody's... Harvesting the bugs before it goes bad. Well, Connor's good. He can go hunting now. True. There's that whole family we need to eat. This thing is <laughs> bleeding and dying out anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's just their way. I feel like we need to tame some of those, though, because... True. Once they all die... Oh, wait a minute. Just come harvest this. That's a long way. Yeah. But we don't have to kill anything, though. We can go pick those melons. True. Um, there's all this food here, although I don't know if you can just eat these. I think you gotta plant them, right? Can you just eat the grain, or do you have to make, them, make something out of them? We can try. 
and harvest one of those. See if that's edible. I don't know. The blobby guys are kind of growing on me. Don't want to kill them? No, I kind of want to use them as like walking bean bags. <laughs> what do they like? But aren't they all like acidy and stuff? Well, I mean, on the inside, we're all acidy. Yeah, maybe this thing is eating them. Yeah, he's doing the gullet thing. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, I guess he's Walk. eating them. <laughs> maybe they're not harvesting these because they're gross. Or maybe because I hit harvest instead of butcher. You know, I think that's what it was. I needed to set it to butcher. Okay. Bugs for everybody. About to rot away. Eat the bugs, guys. So our meat is about to go bad. Do we have any? Oh, our meat soup. Our meat soup. I mm -hmm. see. Better come get the meat soup while it's still good, guys. Alright, so unfortunately, we do have to end the episode here. Absolutely disastrous episode. Got attacked by bugs. Ember barely survived, but she looks like she's doing okay now. Yeah, she's fine. Hey, her health is back at uh, 200. So she's good now. Thanks to Connor saving her life. And then we had the big storm. Ember got all wet and miserable. Connor got struck by lightning. Connor got struck by lightning. But and he's uh, fine too. We have no food. I mean, we can eat Laura. <laughs> <laughs> so things are a bit rough here, guys. But Laura's harvesting. And maybe I should have had her. I should have had her harvest more. Yeah, this will be the last thing that we do here, guys. So we're gonna set that all to be harvested because we clearly need more food. Though Connor, I guess, is bringing all the meat and hides over here as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's disastrous episode. Our crops are fifty-one percent done. Oh, nice. Uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you in the next one, and thanks for watching.